Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Cannon Brawl. This is an artillery game and what that means basically is that you have a castle and so does your opponent. Your opponents can be human player, computer player, Mars attack, Zakak, alien or whomever. You have to destroy the opponent's castle, they have to do the same to yours. Whoever destroys the castle first wins. You will build all manner of siege equipment to aid you in your castle destruction task. So, let's jump in and I will show you a little bit of the game. Now first things first, I must confess, when I first loaded the game, I wasn't exactly immolated with confidence. I saw all of these banners around the outside of the screen saying, New quest! Do this and get some experience! Oh dear. Secondly, I saw the aesthetic, which is cartoony and almost, well, it is so sh cell shaded in places, I guess, but very, very cartoony. Oh dear, oh dear. And third and finally, the nail in the coffin, it is pretty much unplayable without a gamepad. Now, I'm, I'm running a 360 pad, other controllers are available, that's obviously dependent on your personal preference. I generally don't like gamepads at all. I'm a mouse and keyboard person through and through, so... Not having a mouse on the menu and having to control it with the keyboard. You can use a mouse when you're in fighting, however, but uh, yeah, I, I think it runs better with a pad. So all of these things combined, it was, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, this is going to be terrible. But it's actually the opposite of that. But I, have to, I just wanted to say that now. At first impressions, I was like, oh, I've been conditioned when I see things like experience. Do these and get experience. And just looking at the aesthetic, I'm just thinking, it's a freemium mobile port. Ah! Which it might be, I have no idea. But uh, I don't really care because I take, I basically take it at face value after playing it for a while. I know that it's uh, not that and it's a very, very good game indeed. So as you can see, this is the campaign. I've actually completed the campaign and I've got three medals on every single mission. There are 20 missions in total, plus these are the challenge maps. There you go. I'm not going to really spoil the story. There's a story. I mean, you, it's pretty much throwaway like most of these things. It's basically to get you from A to B and enjoy the game. But, you know, it's quite interesting to watch it and see it unfold. Anyway, let's just do level 4, and it's a missile defender, so I'm going to fight this one. So we'll jump straight in. So I'm playing Princess, and that's Minion that I'm versing, so I'm just going to skip all this thing here. And obviously I won't be too good here, because as I do with all the preview videos, I'm going to be running it as half tutorial, half preview. That's generally how it works. So, destroy the enemy HQ, that's my objective. I've also got a couple of other things. So uh, success is destroy the enemy HQ, that's when I get one medal. Second medal is to get actions per minute, so APM, I don't know why that's the case and then the speed which I have to do it within six uh, six and a half minutes so I won't be doing that this go so enter let's fly around so this is me in this airship you will fly around in your airship and that's how you uh, yeah that's how you get about obviously you can see it looks very uh, very cartoony looks reminds me of worms in fact anyway let's just go up this shield we will dock with it and then I'm going to position my shield like so and you can see they fired at me and it's bounced off on my shield so this is my castle if that gets destroyed game over. You can see on the top left I've got my money which is currently ticking up. I'm going to dock with my castle and I can build different things. So I can build a territory balloon which increases my territory which is currently the, the basically the blue aura all around this place. Okay. I'm going to dock with it and get a mining camp. I'm going to place the mining camp on these bits of gold. Place it there. I'll do the same thing and oh, hang on. There we go. Uh, place it there and that will collect gold, allow me to build more things. Now, this is a shield, right? This, that's one of the towers in the game. There's several of them. And I can just dock with it. And, oh, I, as you can see, it's got a cooldown at the moment. I can't dock with it. All towers have a cooldown once you've used them. But I could dock with it normally and position a shield. I'm actually going to press Y and upgrade it, which upgrades it to level 2. Everything can go to level 3. There's level 3 there. As you can see, it's a really big satellite dish now. It's like something off SETI, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to reposition it to there. There you go. Now, the shield stops projectiles. It doesn't stop all projectiles. Certain things will go through it and lasers bounce off and ricochet and do really f funky stuff. But as you can see, that's their, that's their uh, tower. And it doesn't fire automatically, they have to dock with it, so that's a computer player there in another airship. So they're just going to keep coming over and start to fire through my shield. Now obviously they're not going to get through, you can see it bounces off. However, if their shots become bigger and bigger, then it might start hurting. What I'm going to do is go up to my uh, castle, and then I'm going to buy my own tower, and I'm going to shove it there. I'm going to reposition my shield to there. There you go. You can see it's got one, two, three, four little beams. Four shields, okay? So it will stop four standard shots. There you go. That's one. However, if they upgrade to even bigger, so you can go up to it again. Like I say, everything can upgrade to level three. There's upgrade to level two and upgrade to level three. I'll do that in a moment. But uh, yeah, you can you get bigger shots, basically, more powerful. So I'm in this one now and I can drag it around. I can increase the power and I increase the, uh, the angle of the shot. I'm going to fire right on the bottom here at max power. And that should destroy the ground, which will then drop this tower down. And the fall will kill it. There you go. Not all falls will kill it. It really depends on... Oh, 
really depends on the height. But as you saw there, my shield was up, but because that is now a level 2, you can see it's a little bit bigger, it went through the first shield and it reduced the shot a little bit, but then it kept falling down and smashed around here. So as you can see, these are damaged, they've got flames coming out of them. You can't repair them as standard. There is a character that can do it, and you can also build... There you go. Can you see that took two shields off there? Because it's slightly bigger. Uh, you can repair them with a certain character and you can also get a tower that will do it itself. Right, let's activate that and we'll fire at the bottom there. Bang! Look at the size of that shot. Let's get some more firepower up. We're going to put one there. Oh, there's some more shots coming from it in. Uh, this is their... This is their castle. I need to destroy that. Let's just fly over here. Wee, there we go. Oh, that's going to destroy both shields. We'll reposition it. Right, let's build that and fire. Bang! And it's going to fall to its death. There we go. Right. Let's get on that. Territory balloon. Put a territory balloon there. Go back and build a mining camp. There we go. I'll upgrade this to level 2. Uh, I want to get level 3, but I can't. Right, so let's fire through them. Now I'm going to reduce it a little bit. I'm going to aim at that shield there. Now I'm going to fire. It shouldn't go through. One, two, and then three. There you go. You can see because mine's level three, it went through two shields. So it would have they would have to have a level three shield to stop it. So I'm just going to reposition that there because they're not arcing it as much. Let's upgrade that. Now this one is a bit different. I'm going to mortar it up to that balloon because I want to destroy the balloon. And boom, that was easy. And even kept on going. So let's just keep firing away there and fire. Bang, so I'm getting a little shot going through and I'm starting to damage them. Looks like they're building a mining camp as well. Now what I want to do is start mortaring this right up like so. And see if I can hit them from the top down. Because obviously their shield covers the front bit. If I can get it landing in the back, I'll be okay. That was actually a very good shot, but I wasn't even aiming for there. But I'll, I'll, I'll take the credit, why not? Um, let's fire again. One, two. Bang, there we go. I've destroyed that one. Here's another incoming shot. Ooh, quickly get that up, because otherwise it would be destroyed. Ah, they're shooting at me now. Let's quickly build another one of them. Obviously, things have a cooldown, and we'll build a shield defense, and we're going to put it further up. We're going to put it as far as I can, and we'll get it to max level straight away. Put it there to try and protect everything. So, you can see there's a little white dotted line. That's what happened with the previous shot, so I know I need to adjust my angle and fire. And this one, I'm just going to keep plowing forward like that. Bang, there we go. Boom, nice mortar shots. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's just go over here. We'll get myself another mining camp. And that shot's going to destroy something. I'll wait. And then I'll place it. There you go. Now, obviously, they've destroyed my shield. So I'm going to build another one. You can only place things in a certain area, as you can see. We'll place that there. Then we're going to upgrade it to level 2. And then place a shield there. Now, I want to keep firing. And I could probably get under the shield if I put it really powerful. There we go, that's hit that, and we want to hit them again. There we go, this is going to go up and over, and it's not going to go through their shield. Let's upgrade that. It's going to, oh, it will go through, so one, two, and then a little shot comes in and destroys their shield generator. Now let's fire again, destroy that, and there we go. They've only got one more tower. It's going to destroy this thing, though. Bang, there you go. You see, it's all getting destroyed. Really reminds me of worms, the aesthetic of this. And just the, the, way the way the stuff gets destroyed as well, it does remind me a bit of worms. There we go, let's fire that. Let's angle my shot a little bit further and we'll see if we can hit their castle. I reckon that will do it. We'll build that. There we go. Should have built that earlier. And is it going to land on the castle? Direct hit on the castle. Lovely. Let's just keep aiming at the castle because that is the objective to destroy it. And finally, there's the last shot. This will win me this match. So here we go. And... Boom! Thanks for the rescue. No problem. There's Minion complaining. And now that guy's now got a repair ability. Victory. Obviously success. Uh, APM. And actually, I did complete it in less than 6 minutes 30. I didn't think so, even though I was uh, trying to commentate and explain. There's uh, some quest progress. And we will just close that. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Actually, back, 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 back. Right. So we can select a different mission. Uh, we'll go to... Which one's interesting? Family reunion. No. That one's horrible. Uh... <laughs> Let's go to this one here, Prisoner Freed. So, mission 11. So, I can pick different characters, as you can see. Um, obviously, you unlock different characters as you progress on. And also, your experience, you can use to unlock different things. About what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you the campaign. There's also a nightmare mode, which I haven't actually done. Ready for a challenge? Ooh, good grief, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's go to Battle vs. AI. So, we're just going to pick uh, one at random. We're just going to go down here and click Random. There we go, and uh, it's me versus the AI, yeah, so I'll use gamepad, and I'm going to select my pilot, so Princess, which is, reduces cooldowns, they all have their own little, um, well, th their little ship changes, their airship, and uh, this, their, their little ability changes as well, so that's cooldown reduced by 15%, that can repair stuff, she can drill things, he gets more explosion damage, and the king gets a little shield around him, so we'll pick the king, why not, so... 
There we go. And now we will p pick our army. We have to select all of our towers. So you always get a barrage balloon unless you select other things. So... As you can see, I haven't completely unlocked everything. You need to unlock them with experience, these ones. We'll get to that later. So, I've got standard little uh, cannon there. Shield tower. A bomb blaster, which fires a little bomb that then walks. Missile tower, one of my favourites. A bank where you can buy the opponent's stuff. A warhead, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, it will, yeah, fire a big warhead. That's an accelerator. It increases the... Uh, like fast, it decreases cooldown of things, but that replaces your barrage balloon. There we go. I will put my barrage balloon back. Oh, that was the wrong button. Hang on a moment. I said I'm not very proficient with controllers here. Uh, I prefer mouse and keyboard, but uh, it just works better with the. Um Ah, that's that map we're on there. It just prefer. It just. Uh, oh, can I change the eye? Yeah, insane easy. No, I'm not going to build with that. Um, actually, I don't want that. I want to move that. Ah. Back, 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 back. Yeah, I've put the AI on easy there. Right, I want to do that. I want to get my balloon back. Can I get my balloon back? No, I can't get my balloon back. Remove. Undo. Undo. Right, there we go. So I want, I think, a, I want mining camp. Because you pretty much you can't play it without that. Uh, I want a shield. I want a missile tower. And I want... I think a warhead's pretty fun. Uh, that one's pretty fun as well. Drill tower. When you fire it, drills under the earth. That one makes a mountain. Don't ask. Uh, that one builds a platform. Let's have a warhead because that's interesting. And we will go ready. So, we've S the I. Let's crack on. So, destroy the enemy HQ. So, I'm going to be quickly go ahead with this. Now, you can see there's also these little blue things inside of the mountain. That one there. That is... Um, like little diamonds and they're quite good. Let me just pick that up there. I want to place... Oh, I didn't want a balloon. Actually, I want another one of them. Place that there. And we're just going to keep placing different towers. Now, I need to wait for some money now. And I'm going to place a missile tower. Because I like missile towers. There we go. Place one there. I've got a shield on this thing. Um, one of the good things about a shield is you, it refracts lasers. Okay? So, you can actually have a really interesting time with it. Let me fire the missile. They work a little bit different. They actually split up. But I'm just going to use it to knock a hole in that. So, we can then mine the diamonds which are a lot more expensive so I'm they're gonna fire missiles at me I know any second so I'm gonna put that there oh they're actually doing the same thing that I am they're trying to get into that uh, in that area so we're gonna place that there so that protects me fantastic I think we'll also do the same where's he, what's he doing you little git he's come along and frozen my tower Ooh, how dare he right let's build a warhead shall we let's put a warhead down there warheads are slightly different they're one shot only uh, and when you fire them you just target an area I'm gonna upgrade it there we go spend a bit of money on upgrading it I think he's going to fire that missile any second now. Let's upgrade it to there. So that'll split into different sections. There you go. And it will obviously take it out. I, I've got a shield on this thing, which is why I stood there to protect it. So let's upgrade that a bit more. Let's upgrade that warhead to... Oh, he keeps on freezing that. Uh, let's upgrade the warhead as well. Now let's also probably fire that to there. There we go. Dock with that. And place... That there. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to see if I can protect some of it. No, that really hit hard. Look at that. Let's upgrade that again. There we go. Get more shields. And we'll use it there. So that's pretty much impenetrable now. Oh, they can fire over, you understand, but still. Right. Uh, can that go any further? I don't think so, but I'm going to start firing it just to start wrecking the land around there. As you can see, it splits up. What I'm going to do is upgrade it. Right. I want to find my warhead. So you dock it, and then you select a target, which I'm going to select because it makes a big bang. Uh, there. Okay, so it now fires, and it is the slowest warhead that man has ever seen. Look at that. It's very, very slow, but it uh, will hit hard when it does hit. So I'm just going to start targeting over there. I think that's going to hit the rock. Yeah, it has. Shame. Um, let's get my shield up. There we go. Let's get another shield, and we'll put it there. Now, obviously, every building that you build puts this little influence around. Actually, that wasn't a shield. That was a missile. Oh, well, shame. Doesn't matter. I can quickly go over and place that there. Obviously, you can see this is about to hit home, and it's a big blast, because level 3 missile, bang! Look at that! Wow. Big chunk there. All gone. Let's get a, another defense tower. Oh, they're hitting my base. Let's put that up there. And we will dock with that and start firing over there now. Lovely. And again, lovely. Just keep spreading it out. One of the characters with this does um, double the amount of splash damage, which is really good. Let's put that there. Hopefully it'll stop it. Let's get a bit more gold. We'll put that one down there. Or a little... Oh! Uh, you can see I use my shield to protect my... Uh, to protect my castle there. We'll quickly put another... 
warhead down and we'll level it up straight to level 3. Every time you do that, it gives it a bit of a cooldown. Let's fire that. And fire, there you go. Keep firing away and, yeah, plug at them. Upgrade that. I think that thing's going to fire any second. I want to try and take out one of them, but it's not going to help. Did my best. Put that back there. And we will rearm that. There we go. And we will start. Why, little git? Let's upgrade that. Can we mortar up and out like that? No, almost, almost. I want to start taking out that around there. There we go. Warheads almost armed. I like the warheads. They're very, very good. Right, let's build another missile because that one's about to get destroyed. That's why I wanted to build it there. And we'll build another... I think, yeah, we'll build another one of these shields. We'll upgrade the shields like that. And we'll start firing over there. What are you doing? Little git. Fire up and over, I think, like that. that. I think that's a good shot. That is a very good shot. Oh, it's got him. There we go. So we'll click on the warhead. We'll target their castle, okay? Now, the warheads do half damage on the castle, so you can't just build, like, you know, you could just build loads of warheads and fire them, but obviously it depends on the uh, the computer. The computer is quite competent. I'm running on easy just because I'm trying to commentate over it, and I'm just generally not that good. But, uh, yeah, you can see that, you know, the, the uh, warhead's tracking there. But the computer is quite competent, and online it is um, quite competitive. Now, it's not to say that it's hard and it's impossible to play, but um, these, these, these types of games really, you know, people can get very good and, uh, you know, it, basically the more fun more fitness you have the better really um it rewards good play i think i'm gonna kill him here almost there and boom look at that there it goes da -da 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 -da. victory i think that's actually the first that's probably my first ai game i think i think it is i've done the campaign i've just never versed that one before right oh look look at all the achievements <laughs> yeah as i said i've never done an ai game before but anyway, I don't think we really need to show you much more than that. We'll go to Armory and have a quick look at this thing here. You can see that you can use your experience. There's my campaign unlocks, which is pretty much most of the game. However, the other stuff you have to get from using experience. And I've only got 1,400... I don't know how much experience. 1,976. That's a flame cannon. That is a grenade launcher, fortified mine, lightning rod. I've seen a couple of them in the uh, multiplayer and obviously different pilots as well which do different things so it's not really a, you don't have to grind for this I mean I've completed the campaign and I've got a fair amount of experience but in order to get the rest obviously you're probably best off doing the nightmare mode and obviously you'll have a couple of AI games and such and you'll do the random achievements it's not grindy it, 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 it might look it but I don't think so. I really don't think so. I mean, it just depends. I enjoy playing it. Like I said, the campaign I completed in pretty much one sitting. I sat down and I think on over a weekend I did the campaign. It's not a long campaign. You could probably do it in two or three hours if you're quite uh, efficient at it. But yeah, I, I think it's probably spent maybe four or five hours doing the campaign and doing all the challenges and getting them to uh, five, uh, three medals each just because I wanted to do it. It was just fun. So it won't feel like any sort of grind if you're you know just wanting to play it in general but yeah um solid thumbs up on this one really like it and um i might even uh, play it a little bit more multiplayer it's just generally good fun it is generally good fun it's an honest solid game that is fun and if you like this sort of thing which there's not many of these types of games out there artillery games used to be a big thing in fact I remember I used to playing it cheekily at school and all that, uh, playing them in flash games and things like that. That was that, for whatever reason that was always the thing that you used to play. But uh, yeah, there's not many around at uh, for, for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Recommendation certainly. Uh, as always, links are in the description and you can check it out yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Comments in the comments and generic partings.